Welcome. You must be our new roommate. Uh? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I thought you were someone else. <laughs> we're supposed to be getting a new roommate today. I thought that was you. Uh, can I uh, help you? Uh, oh. You are the new roommate? Uh, <laughs> well, um... I must say that's quite a surprise. Uh, oh no, nothing bad. It's just, uh, I thought you were gonna be a girl. <sighs> Is that her? Go on, let her in. Let's help her get settled in. Come on, what's taking you so long? Uh, who are you? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize that it wasn't her. Oh, no, well, apparently he is our new roommate. <sighs> oh, really? Oh, I thought he was going to be a girl. <laughs> well, that's all right. You can come in if you want to. Yeah, come in. Please, make yourself at home. After all, <laughs> this will be your new home. Just in here, in this door, this is your room. You can put all your things in there, but we don't mind spreading out a bit into the common areas. <laughs> oh no, not at all. We're like one big happy family here, and I can't wait for you to join. <laughs> you are cute. I think you'll fit in perfectly. Oh yes, I think you will. I mean, you haven't got ears or a tail or claws, but well, that's all right. I'm sure you'll be part of the family. Sooner rather than later. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Charlotte, by the way. And this here, I'm is... Emma. It's really nice to meet you. <laughs> I can tell that we're gonna get along just fine, you and me. Well, I'm sure the three of us will. Don't leave me out now. <laughs> you are always the greedy type. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I saw him first. Therefore, I get dibs. Don't you know how it works? No, no, I don't think that's quite fair. Just because you got up to answer the door. Besides, I think he'd much more prefer a more cultured woman such as myself. After all, we're all going to be living together in one big happy family. So I don't think it would be a good idea if either of us were to make moves on him. Oh yeah, of course. Like, I wasn't even thinking of doing that. But, now that you mention it, well, he is pretty cute. <laughs> and you're wrong, by the way. I think he'd prefer someone younger and more fun like me. <laughs> Don't you think, sweetie? Hey, you're only a few years younger than me. Come on, it's not like I'm some withered up old hag. I've still got plenty of life to live. <laughs> and besides, I'm much more experienced than you. He looks like the kind of guy that would appreciate a woman that knows how to take control. <laughs> oh, come on, Charlotte. 
You know those days are behind you. Maybe you'd be better off taking up crocheting. Or scrapbooking, perhaps. That seems more your style. You leave him to me. I can show him a good time. Ah, oh, yes. And how do you propose to do that, then? You going to take him out to Monster Girl McDonald's for a happy meal? I doubt you could afford much more. <laughs> and then to one of your dingy clubs to dance around the sticky floor all night. Oh, please. Does he really seem the partying type to you? <laughs> no. I think he'd much prefer a nice, quiet night at home, snuggled up on the sofa with me, all wrapped up in my big, fuzzy paws. Wouldn't you, darling? <laughs> mm -hmm. See? I think he just nodded. Oh, come on, you're so boring. Live a little. He never would have signed up to live here with us if he thought he was going to live in a nursing home. Uh, come on, I bet you'd love to go out partying with me, wouldn't you? We can go and get shots and dance up against each other in the club and, well, then you can take me home and we can have a little more fun together. <laughs> Don't worry. I know how to show a guy a good time. I promise. Oh, come on, Emma. You're scaring him. Don't you think you're coming off a little bit strong? <sighs> Let's let him get settled in and at least unpack his things before you do anything to scare him off. I don't want to lose this one so easily. You always drive out our roommates. That last girl barely got away without any scratches on her. Yeah, well, she was a total bitch. I swear she kept using my special shampoo. At least with this new roommate, I don't think that will be a problem. After all... <laughs> I don't mind sharing my shampoo with you, as long as I get to come join. <laughs> All right, pussycat, calm down. I'm sure if anyone's going to be help bathing him, it'll be me. You'd like that, wouldn't you, sweetie? I can lick you down with my sandpapery tongue if you like. It's very good at cleaning and getting all the dust and dirt and grime off you. Trust me, there's no better way to get cleaned down than by a lioness's tongue. <laughs> oh, come on, quit babying him. I mean, look at him. Does he look like he's one of your little cubs? Oh, I think you'd be surprised. Cubs come in all shapes and sizes, after all. <laughs> you never know who might be a little cub on the inside. Oh my god, here we go. <sighs> hey, why don't you unpack and get settled in your room, okay? And, um, me and Charlotte can sort some things out out here together, all right? You just go on in ahead. Take your bags in. Just close the door for a minute. I have some things I want to talk to Charlotte about. Okay? Well, what was that all about? What was what? You were totally flirting with him. And? I'm allowed to flirt with whoever I like, sweetie. Yeah, but, like, he's going to be our new roommate. Besides... I wanted to flirt with him, too. You can't just claim him because you're older. Besides, he's probably not even into you. You're way too old for him. Oh, I think you'd be surprised. I think a lot of men are interested in older women these days. Not that you would know. 
Maybe in a few years you'll learn a bit more. <laughs> ah, you're so smug. He should be with me. I'm like basically the same age as him. We can go out and party and have fun. <sighs> you're so annoying. And by the way, I'm not old. Thank you very much. Just a few years more mature, shall we say. And what? You think because you answered the door, you get to claim him? No, oh, no, sweetie. That's not how that works. I'm the oldest, and therefore I should get dibs. No! Are you crazy? And besides, did you see the way he was looking at me? I think he's totally into me. <laughs> he couldn't keep his eyes off me. Well, what do you expect when you wear a shirt like that? You can keep any man's attention that way. But, well, beauty is fleeting. He'll get bored of you soon enough. Hey, I'm not boring. I'm not just a pretty face either. I'm actually nice and caring. I especially would be for a guy like that. Can't you please just let me try and date him? I mean, we don't even know if he wants to go out with either of us. We are kind of making assumptions. I mean, you could even have a girlfriend already. No. If he had a girlfriend, why would he be moving in to a single room with us? That doesn't make any sense. Really? Have you seen the economy lately? Uh, you're so out of touch. I am not. <sighs> All right, then. What if we both decide to just keep things civil with him? After all, I don't want us to get in each other's way. We can both like him, but as long as we don't act on our feelings, we should be fine. I don't want anything to ruin our friendship anyway. Yeah, you're right. We shouldn't try to flirt with him or anything. Uh, but he's just so cute. How am I supposed to not do that? I just really like him. Well, I really like him too. Maybe we should just take some time to get to know him. Yeah, you're right. After all, we don't really know him, I guess. He is just kind of cute. <laughs> That's all we know. Should we go back in and check on him? All right, let's go see what he's up to. Yoo-hoo, sweetie. Are you settling in nicely in here? Getting everything nice and unpacked? Hey, why are you talking to him like that? Like what? I'm just talking normally. Aren't I, sweetie? Hey, don't call him sweetie. What did we just talk about? Oh, right. Well, I'm sorry, I can't help myself. I mean, look at his big sparkling eyes. He's just so cute, I can't help it. I just want to give him a big hug and snuggle up to him. Well, I want to snuggle up to him too. I thought we promised not to flirt with him. God. Hmm. <sighs> You're so annoying. Don't you growl at me, young lady. You know what happened last time you gave me that attitude. <sighs> all right, all right. <sighs> well, I don't know. I guess we're going to have to play nice and share him, aren't we? Hmm. I suppose we could do that. As long as you're willing to play nice. Oh, that's not a problem for me. In fact, I'm more worried about you being able to stick with it. Oh, don't you worry about me, darling. I know all about sharing. Well, come on then. Let's go get comfy on the sofa together and we can get to know each other. How does that sound? Yeah, good idea. 
I'll snuggle up to him on one side, and you snuggle up on the other. I'm sure if he's between us, we won't get in each other's way, right? <laughs> what do you think, darling? Let's go have a snuggle on the sofa together. Come on, sit down. That's it. Ah, I'm going to rest my head on your shoulder. Hey, and I'm going to take the other one. Ah, mm. Your shoulder feels so good. It's so comfy. Yes, it does. Ah, now let's just snuggle up and get comfy for a little while. And you can talk and tell us all about yourself. How does that sound? <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to get to know you. I think that we both are. <sighs> Come on. Tell us everything about you. We can't wait to be your new roommates. I think that we're going to get along just fine. And we're going to have lots and lots of fun together. Aren't we, Emma? Oh, yeah. I think as long as the two of us can play nice, then we're going to get along just fine. <laughs> 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 